It can happen on a motorboat, on a bike, or even while you're jogging. One moment you're having a great summer's day, the next moment a bug flies into your mouth and you accidentally swallow it. It's certainly disgusting, but is eating insects actually harmful? Joining us is Dr. Bobby Pritch. She's the director of the Clinical Parasitology Laboratory at the Mayo Clinic. Welcome, Dr. Pritch. How are you? Oh, I'm doing well, Jeff. Thank you. So I assume most of your work you know, with insects and humans has to do with bites, not accidental consumption. So how often does this come up and what's the actual risk here? Well, I think it happens quite a bit, and I just don't uh, get those specimens in my laboratory, but I think we've all been out on a bicycle or going for a run and accidentally swallow a bug. So, Not usually a problem. Yes. So which insects are the ones that are probably okay to eat? It, let's say you're on a boat and it flies in your mouth. Well, usually it's going to be small flying insects, uh, gnats, flies, uh, just small uh, insects that really aren't going to be much of a concern. Um, there's probably only a few situations where I'd be concerned about actually eating uh, or swallowing an insect. And uh, which ones are those? Just so I know. Well, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I'd break it down into a few categories. First of all, I think it would be unlikely, but possible that you could accidentally uh, swallow uh, a, a stinging or biting insect. Like a, like a, like a bee? Or... A bee. Right, exactly. It would be pretty unusual, but if one got near your mouth or in your mouth, it could sting you. And, and you'd have a little pain and swelling. And... and of course, if you're allergic to bees or something like that, that's a huge concern. Right, so that would be the very rare situation, but if you were allergic, then depending on your degree of allergy, it could be life-threatening. Um, what about, you had mentioned cockroaches as something you don't want to eat, in case you didn't know that already. <laughs> right, well, some people do have allergies to some of the proteins that are produced by cockroaches. It's really more of inhalation, that uh, if you have asthma, it could trigger an asthma attack. So getting it near your mouth, in your mouth, accidentally inhaling near where cockroaches are could trigger an asthma attack. You have also mentioned fleas as a possible danger. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. There's uh, certain insects like beetles and fleas that actually have tapeworms inside of them. And if you accidentally eat one of them, you can become infected with that tapeworm. So Fleas are concerned if you have like dogs and you know cats around the house. Can a flea actually jump into your mouth? Is that a concern? <laughs> well, they do jump and they can jump quite high. Now, the people who usually get this are usually young children. They're on the floor next to the dog or cat, chewing on the dog's tail and probably swallowing fleas that way. I suppose a flea could jump up into their mouth as well. It's a little different with beetles. Beetles are more likely to get into your foodstuffs without you knowing it. So flowers, grains, dry cereal, and then you usually accidentally eat them. And with the, um, you mentioned the beetles and the cereal. Is that happening at your house? Are they getting into like your box of cereal or is that happening at the plant? Well, it can happen in both places, and the FDA does allow for a certain amount of insect parts in our food. It's relatively low, um, but they do do inspections to watch out for that. But it could happen anywhere along the line, at the distributor, at the plant, uh, during packaging, but then also in your house, especially if you aren't storing your grains and flowers in a dry, airtight container. And, you know, of course, there's cultures around the world that, that do eat insects regularly, and I think they've been known to have a good source of protein. Is that, is that actually true, or is that a myth? No, no, it's true. Uh, there's a number of cultures around the world where insects, various bugs, are actually an important part of their diet. So when you're eating and preparing food like that, that can actually be a, an important nutritional source. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Pritt. You're welcome.